Hi, I'm Eric Summerer, and here's what's coming from the Dice Tower hey, folks, this week. Welcome to the news for November 12, 2012. For those of you in America, a happy celebration, I think, of Veterans Day. And let's get started with the Dice Tower news that we have. First of all, in the board gaming world, Shy Tag, or the Chicago Toy and Game Convention, is being held this week in, of course, Chicago. It's always held the week before Thanksgiving. A lot of new games are shown at this fair, usually along the lines of party games and family games, but I do know that some companies go to this, like uh, Real Grande, and other companies have gone in the past, and there's a, so you can check that out if you're in that area. The Jack Vassal Memorial Fund auction, folks, I'm telling you, there's about a week left on this, and if you are not involved in this, it is amazing. We're raising money for the Jack Vassal Memorial Fund, which is a foundation uh, in remembrance of my son, who was, uh, his, was born two years ago this Thursday, and uh, it helps gamers in their time of need, and just some of the stuff that's put up on this auction is incredible. There's signed copies of games. You have a chance to play with TV stars. There's all kinds of really cool stuff on this, so you have a chance to do that. Check our website for a link to that auction. Um, a couple games. Marvel Legendary is about to come out. I got the copy of that. Uh, and uh, Merchants of Venus is now in stores, which will make Eric Summer and Legions of Fan happy. Z-Man has announced that they will be bringing Terra Mystica to America. So we're starting to see some of the Essen games come to America through the different publishers. I have a tie for the top two hot stories of the week. One is that nothing personal. There's only a week left. We've hit all our stretch goals except one. And there's a chance for you to get still involved with this. It's a fun mafia themed game. Really fantastic artwork that is in this game. Lots of fun. So you can check that out hopefully and consider supporting that. Two though, Board Game Geek Con is being held this week. It's held the same week as Chicago Toy and Game Fair a week before Thanksgiving. But it's a uh, 2,000 plus people are showing up just to play games. That's all it is. Board games, card games of all types and sizes. We will be there. Me and my co-host Eric Summer will be there. Bart the Chief, who has done some video reviews, will be there. And other folks from the Dice Tower Network will be there. We'll be doing a live show on Friday, so you come by and see that. A big announcement we have to make. Um, interesting uh, announcement. You'll have to come and listen to that. But there's lots of fun. Come by and say hi. Maybe I'll get a game in with you. It'd be a great time. And I'll be trying to do reports of this on GameSaluteNews.com. Remember, GameSalute News has all your news for board games. And so you can check at that out. I'll try to put it up each night after the convention with some pictures of the games that I saw and played that day. The Dice Tower Network has a lot of podcasts that have come out. First, we have The Long View, where they've they have a whole show on Merchants of Venus. And, of course, who better to guest star that than Eric Summer? So Eric and Jeff talk about Merchants of Venus, all the ins and outs of that, on The Long View. On Board Games has Sean Fable guest star, and they talk about the differences in culture in gaming, basically between uh, Sean's from Germany and the, our, the hosts are from America, so they compare the, the cultures there, and they review several games. Uh, Plat Hat number 68, they talk about competition. Is it good to compete in games? I think so. Listen to that episode for more on that. Not Just Another Gaming Podcast is back. They're doing episode number 23, where they take a look at Descent 2.0. And they have an interview with Andrew Parks and some mini reviews. Flip the Table, number 15, where they take a look at old games that should be retired and put out the pasture. And here they took a look at the huge game, Mystery Mansion. And Cardboard Jungle, number 8, they talk about Kickstarter and the love-hate relationship with all the different things involving Kickstarter. The D6 Generation, number 114, uh, has Jas Jasper Ortas, and they talk about history. It gives a historical primer. Jasper works with a historical magazine, and so the episode is about that, with reviews, of course. And the Gamer Atlas. Folks, if you like my reviews, you like the Gamer Atlas reviews. They're really funny. They're entertaining video reviews. And he just did one of Return of the Jedi, The Battle of Sarlacc's Pit, so you can check that out. That is all the stuff on Dice Town Network. That should keep you busy all week. Also, the Dice Tower, our, our show, is coming out tonight or tomorrow morning, one of those two, where we will be 
we do releasing a special episode, our first annual Christmas guide, where we talk about games that are available right now for you to buy. This is a podcast that I hope that you can send to your friends and relatives and they can listen to it to find out maybe games they can get for you, or we'll give you an idea of games to get for them. So the Christmas guide 2012. All right, I know I've been teasing you guys with game reviews. I got only two out last week and not many the weeks before that because of the top 100. We put a lot of emphasis in that top 100, and I appreciate all the kind comments on the top 100 list. We had a lot of fun doing those, and we plan to do those in the future. But I have reviews for you this week. They are all recorded. They are already all edited and uploaded. They're ready to go. I'll be releasing them over the next several days. There are 40 reviews coming your way this week. Hopefully, at least one of them is a game you're interested in. Let's take a look at the, at the games I'll be reviewing. After all that, I think, I think I might not. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if there's any reviews next week, but that, that should keep you covered. So there's a lot of things going on. Don't forget, you can always check out DiceTowerNews.com for all your gaming news. And um, Remy Gibson, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, does an audio podcast uh, about the board gaming news. Uh, five to ten minute podcast. Lots of information there. And of course you can find all the information at our website, DiceTower.com. I really hope to see you at Board Game Geek Con if you're in the area. I hope we have a lot of fun, but whether I meet you there or we just continue to communicate over the airwaves, either way, have fun gaming. Find all this and more at DiceTower.com. See you soon. Shut the door! That's right. Shut it.